How's it going fellow agents? We're back with another Division 2 video. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to find Katy Mendoza. She doesn't just appear randomly on the map, I found her on World Tier 4. I'm not 100% sure if World Tier 4 is actually a requirement, so you may want to try this when you're in World Tier 1 to 3 and see if it actually works for you. However, be warned, if you fail the first time, it does become a problem trying to find a snitch again. So if you are going for this, definitely bring someone along with you, someone who can stay back a bit in case you go down. So yeah, you want to make sure you complete the bounty on the first time. Right, so how do you find and unlock Casa Mendoza? So in order to actually begin this quest, you want to go to the safe house 1040. Once you get to 1040, you want to take the southeast exit as you're seeing here. So once you take the southeast exit, you pretty much follow the winding path down, you go up the stairs, round the corner, just keep on going until you get to the outside. When you get to the outside, you will see a big kind of gate contraption like you're seeing here. Basically, just keep on going through. And when you get to the end, you'll see an archway that will basically lead you to the snitch. He'll be on the left hand side for you to be able to talk to him. What you want to do here is pretty much talk to him, take the bounty. And once you take the bounty, the bounty immediately becomes active and you have a 15 minute timer to do this. Now, I got a certain bounty here. It doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get the exact same bounty, but what you want to do is make sure that you have enough people with you to go in and take out this bounty. Mine was relatively close, but you need to go take out the bounty. Once you take out the bounty, then Casa Mendoza appears on this map for you. So what you want to do is pretty much go to the location, as you're seeing here, complete the bounty, collect your loot, and then when you look at your map, if Casa Mendoza is actually available on the map, you will see a trolley basket. Pretty much click on your waypoint on the actual basket and make your way to her. Once you find her, she will have a selection of items for you to be able to peruse through and buy if you need it. For me, she didn't have anything worthwhile, especially considering you can't actually increase the gear score of items, at least I haven't found a way to do so yet. So if you can do that, please let me know in the comment section below because that would be extremely useful information. That aside, she didn't have anything that useful for me, so I didn't buy anything. But this is pretty much how you access Casa Mendoza. You will see that she has a timer. What that timer means is that once that timer is up, she will disappear from the map for a number of hours and then reappear again with a new timer. Generally, she appears after about 3-4 hours. That was my experience because my friend saw Cassie Mendoza and then we were doing some other stuff. When we went back to try and find Cassie, she wasn't there. And then basically after about four hours, she reappeared. So it may be shorter than four hours, it may be a couple of hours, but essentially there is a wait time between when she despawns and respawns because she's traveling to a new location, at least lore-wise anyway. Well, that's pretty much it. Follow these steps, go to the snitch at 1040 through the southeast exit, Get the bounty, group up, go take him out. Once you've taken him out, you get access to the goods within her store. That is pretty much it. I hope you find this video useful, and if you do, a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe for more Division 2 news, and until the next video, agents, remain legend.